So the screening is easy and also have a high improve the prediction, pre-test prediction of obstructive sleep apnea. There are numerous questionnaires available. Uh, Howard sleep apnea screening questionnaire. These are questionnaires used in people with essential hypertension. Berlin questionnaire is used in primary care. Stop bank questionnaire for pre-operative screening. Wisconsin questionnaire, questionnaire of Haraldson and colleagues. So there are multiple uh, question is and they all are aimed at increasing the pretest probability of obstructive sleep apnea. Physiological screening can be done. Um, the basic one is pulse oximetry, which is looking for a three or a four percent drop in oxygen saturation, repeated drops in oxygen saturation. Again, this test is more of a rule in test rather than a rule out test. So, if the patient has got significant repeated oxygen desaturation de overnight, then the, the risk of having obstructive sleep apnea is high. If the patient has a low oxygen desaturation events, that does not rule out obstructive sleep apnea. There are newer techniques where they couple the cardiovascular phenomena and respiratory phenomena to see, look for alternatives in the alternative ways of uh, uh, guessing the apnea hypopnea index. So one of them is photophlethysmography. So they um, record the digital volume, pulse and the oxygenation. Peripheral arterial tonometry by Barr and colleagues. Uh, so, the concept of measuring the uh, volume of the digit is that when there is an arousal, there is a burst of sympathetic discharge which leads to vasoconstriction. So, that leads to decrease in the volume of the finger and this can be detected by a um, monitor. So, this measure is reasonably high correlation with respiratory disturbance index done during in-lab polysomnography. Liu and colleagues, again, they used a very sophisticated transformer from a single uh, ECG lead. It detected breathing, sleep-related disorder breathing events. They called the index the temporal variability and had a good correlation with apnea hypopnea index and could distinguish among sleep-related breathing events of various severities. In-lab study, which is polysomnogram, which is the type 1 study, is a gold standard test. We have multiple channels to assess various activities. So they include electroencephalogram, electromyogram, which looks at the submentalis muscle, electrooculogram, ECG, oxygen saturation, pulse rate, body position, electromyogram of the legs for periodic limb movements, microphone to, microphone to detect snoring, airflow measurement, we do both nasal pressure and thermistor. Nasal pressure flow is useful for hypopneas and thermistor is more useful in detecting apneas. Respiratory effort by using impedance bands on the chest wall and the abdominal uh, wall. Uh, we can look for thoracoabdominal paradoxical movement as well and it also has a video monitoring and if you're looking for sleep related hyperventilation you can do a transcutaneous or an end tidal uh, carbon dioxide levels as well so this is uh, basically what we look what we get uh, the information from a polysomnogram and this needs to be scored for respiratory events